And the annual Veuve Clicquot Polo Classic is returning for an eighth year on May 30th, the event that marks the beginning of the summer polo season. So we thought it would be fun to learn a few basic polo moves. And who better to give us pointers than world-renowned polo player Ralph Lauren Model and the captain of the Black Watch polo team, Nacho Figueras. Nacho, thank you so much for being with us. Wonderful to be here. How you know, you? this is so fun because I think polo for a lot of Americans is still somewhat of a mysterious sport. You're from Argentina, though. Is it huge there? Polo in Argentina is big. It's we big. have a, we have the luxury of having a big, very big polo field. Actually, two polo fields in the middle of the city, mm -hmm. and we uh, play there the Argentine Open, which is the most important tournament in the world. Wow! So people get a lot of um, information. It's in the newspapers. It's on TV. Right. So it's it's more talked about. Do you, do you yes. feel here though in the U.S. You've been playing for several years here. Has it been getting more popular? So the whole purpose of this Web Clicquot Polo Classic started with the idea of bringing polo to the people, bringing polo to New York, putting polo in front of people's faces mm -hmm. and, 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 and for people to respond to it. They have been responding in, a, in an amazing way. Um, tickets sold out this year in three minutes, amazing. which is an amazing um, achievement. And uh, we are very happy with the results and excited about tomorrow. Great. So give us a primer for people that know nothing. What are the basics of polo? What are the rules? So the rules, polo is a very ancient sport. It's been played for two, three thousand years. You play four against four on horses. The games are divided in chakras of seven n net minutes. Mm -hmm. um, each chakra you change horses. Every time someone scores, you change sides. Um, you have to score between two goal posts. One score, one goal, whoever scores more goals. So how many horses win. does each player need? So in one game, you'll need six, eight horses per player. Wow. Yeah, so logistically, it's a complicated It thing. is. And do you have plays ahead of time, sort of the way football games, you think of plays, or do you change do. in the heat of the moment? Well, both, both right? Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, we do strategize. Mm -hmm. You do strategize about a certain way to play that team. You do strategize about certain plays that you will make as a team. Um, not just that, there's a big strategy behind the list of horses, we call it. So the order in which each player is going to play the horses. So in the first chugger, if we're playing together and you're saying, I'm going to play my fastest horse in this chugger, ah. I might play a horse that I know I have handiness so that I can control the ball and hit it to you because you're going to be passing every time because your horse is very fast. Fascinating. So when you're strategizing, you're thinking not only about the player, the but horses. what horse the player is on. Not just that, but you're thinking also about the players on the other team and the horses on the other team because we normally know the horses on the other team. So as soon as you go into the polo field, you know, oh, be careful, you know, he's on a very fast horse, so, you know, watch yeah, him. Don't, right. don't, don't let him go through you. So if you have six or eight horses per game, how many horses do you have regularly sort of in your stable that you are practicing with? So you start a season with uh, between 10, 12 horses per player. That's okay. how you go into the season. I personally, I have a very big breeding operation yeah. in Argentina. And um, I have mm, over 500 horses. Wow. So horses are the key. I, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't bring a horse into horses the studio. Yeah. But thank you for bringing the polo mallet. Is that yeah. what it's? Well, Can we, you? We brought this mallet. This mallet show is, us. is made of a, a bamboo cane. Beautiful. Um, and it has wood here in the, in the tip. Beautiful. You hit the ball with this part of it. Uh, and why is it sort of slanted so there? It has a, a, little, a little angle because when you're on the horse and you're bringing down your, your arm, mm -hmm. the arm comes down in a bit of an angle. So if, the, if, if this were straight, then this thing would get tangled. Ah, so I see. That's the angle in, in which the mallet kind of like goes through. So oh, we hit this. We hit this ball. Can I see is, the ball? Yeah, oh. It's made of plastic. Okay. Light. 180 grams. It travels at 180 uh, kilometers an hour, so 120 miles an hour when, when we're playing. And um, fascinating. Yep. No, uh, no deflated polo balls. <laughs> no, no. There's They're all the same. Uh, there's also indoor polo, which uh, indoor polo is played with a bigger ball. Right. And it's, it's kind of like inflated, but this is the real one. And are there lefty and righties, no. or is there just one hand? No, you can only play with your right hand. Ah, okay. So you have to be a righty. Yeah, and that's and that's well, you can be a lefty, but you have to play with your right yeah. hand. The reason is. There's rights of ways and things that actually allow um, the umpire to call fouls, and they have to do with right of ways. Think of it like a highway. So you cannot just put your car in front of the other car. Right. So everybody has to hit the ball with the same arm, and there's always an imaginary line between the ball and the guy hitting the ball. If you come and you cross that line, 
you're creating danger, sure. so that's already a foul. So. And it's a dangerous sport. It can be dangerous. Very, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can you can die. Right, people. right. All right. Well, Nacho, thank you so much. I feel like I've learned yes, so sir. much about this fabulous sport that you're... I hope you can come tomorrow. We'd love to. You're invited. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll take you up on that. Thank you best. so much. Thank you very much.